We're in the studio working on our new EP. Yeah, we're really excited. This is actually a big surprise. Um, our, our new full-length album won't be coming out until next summer, so we definitely wanted to uh, put some other music out in between. So we thought, why not do a throwback EP of some of our favorite, you know, old older songs that not everybody would know, um, you know, kind of making them our own, just to put a little bit of something out there in between the albums. Digging deep into the catalog to see what we could find, and we found some gems. Yeah, we didn't want to go with songs that people would typically think that we would cover. Um, we wanted to dig deeper and, and think about songs that maybe um, had inspired us when we were really little kids, or songs that, we, that, were, that were moments in our life that we really remembered. One of the songs that we chose is Crazy Horses by the Osmonds. My mom was the biggest Osmond fan. I really wasn't allowed to listen to a lot of heavy music back in the day. Pretty much anything, I just had to listen to what they listened to. When they were gone, I would always go through the records and try and find cool music. The, one of the only cool songs I found was Crazy Horses by the Osmonds. Now you wouldn't think the Osmonds had a heavy song, but this was the first heavy song that I heard as a young kid. Dun 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 That's that, that riff right there just stuck with me my entire life. I chose um, a song called They're Coming to Take Me Away by uh, a band called Napoleon 14. I don't even know it's even a real band, it's kind of like a joke song. But the first time that I heard that song, I was sitting next to my stepfather in his car. I didn't get along with him at all, when my mom first got married, um, we have a better relationship now, but he would drive me crazy. I thought he was completely insane. He probably thought I was insane too. I was, a, you know, I was a kid. The song, he would sing along to it. And he'd be holding the steering wheel like this, and da 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 da. -da. This song is about you, you crazy freak. <laughs> you know, and it would always. Um, it stuck out to me, especially they're coming to take me away, haha, they're coming to take, ha -ha, me, away. Coming to take uh -huh. me away, and it, it just, it fit him so well, and you guys know my stepdad, so yeah. it's like, it's it just, fits him. that song is him, yeah. so um, <laughs> it just, it totally it creeped me out. We also did, um, uh, Carla and I were both big ZZ Top fans, and we Hey, I to am too! <laughs> I just didn't know yes. this particular song. This particular song, so we're doing Beer Drinkers and Hellraisers, which is like, you know, it's, it's off the third, you know, the older ZZ Top, and... The title right there is is perfect for our band. I get to do a sweet Billy Gibbons solo. He's one of my favorite guitar players, so I have to I have to be hold that true. So. And I think that's going to be a crowd pleaser. I mean, I don't know anybody who listens to that song and doesn't want to beer drink. You're going to want to drink oh, beer and yeah. raise hell. Except for me, I don't and actually don't drink beer. A little beer. side note: I've never had a beer in my life. I hate the taste of beer. Would never drink one. Fail. I'm, I'm a whiskey drinker. Stormtroopers of Death is I went you know growing up. Uh, you know, I, I was a 13 year old and I fucking loved SOD and, you know, Anthrax, and, but SOD had, they were just crazy and they were funny and super aggressive. One thing that really stood out to us about Pussy Whipped is it had that thrashy metal sound that we all, we all love still and we grew up loving. So um, we did that and it's fun for Carl and I because we get to do a real punk, rappy, you know, these verses that are so fast, you can't understand what people verses. are saying. And the last song that we did was Suicidal Tendencies, I Don't I don't Give a Fuck. I always called it Don't Give a Shit, because it goes back and it forth goes back saying and forth. that, which is a song that Heidi and I have always loved. I'm a huge suicidal fan since I was a kid, and we love suicidal. We love suicidal. Yeah. It's also a message that we really relate to. Basically, you know, with everything that's gone on in our career, and I think every musician, every actor, anyone who was in the entertainment industry, they put themselves out there. And there's a lot of people who, there's naysayers, there's people who like you, there's people who hate you. And it's just like, we don't give a fuck. I mean, honestly, it's like, you, you have to stop giving a fuck eventually. And we, I think that yeah. you and I used to be kind of affected by things. This is years ago, people would say. And now that, we seriously don't care. We are so happy to be doing what we love with our best friends that it doesn't matter what anybody says anymore. Those are the five songs that we chose for this EP um, because those five songs, it, it, it kind of made who yeah. we are as people today. Oh, and the EP is called Uncovered. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by the recording studio. We are the Butcher Babies and we will see you in the pit. <laughs>